It's not often that I speak after joining the audience in being a witness to mass murder. In addition to the thousands of American troops who have given their lives in Iraq, now thousands of innocent civilians are giving their lives. Because the truth is, the Prime Minister of Iraq is a mass murderer. The Prime Minister of Iraq, Nuri al-Maliki, ordered this. On the video, we saw snipers aiming at unarmed civilians. We saw tanks crushing individuals. This is not what America sought to do when President Bush sent troops to Iraq. But this is what has happened. We have a Iraqi government that is now becoming a satellite government for Iran, which truly is a nation that can be classified as part of the evil empire. The, uh, the United States government has an obligation and an ability to do something about this. As, as Congressman Sherman said, there is blood on the hands of the United States, and we can still do something about it before it is too late, but we cannot dither any more. In the European Union, every court found that putting the MEK on the terrorist list was wrong, and finally, the Europeans took them off the terrorist list. In the United States of America, in this city, the courts have found that they did not get due process, and they have ordered the State Department to review this 232 days later. Where is the State Department while people die? <laughs> MEK must be removed from the terrorist list by the State Department, and that needs to happen now. Otherwise, the State Department and the administration will become complicit directly in the death of 3,365 additional unarmed civilians. That is not what this country is about. This is a gross bureaucratic adjustment, and I, I don't mind bro gross bureaucratic oversights and fumbling. I do mind if they cost people lives, especially innocent people that are non-combatants, who the United States promised to protect. Take them off the terrorist list right now, not one more day.